Hey everyone, Michael O'Brien here, and today we're going to talk about how to highball the lowballers. Welcome, my friends, to another Advice for Magicians video where my job is to make you the best possible entertainers that you can be. Now, today's video, we're going to be talking pricing, right? So advice for professionals, whether you are a professional that is struggling with this already or you're looking to become a professional and you want to have kind of an upper hand going into the game, this is the video for you. And what we're going to talk about in this video specifically are lowballers. Of course, I'm talking about people where you quote them a price and they go... Yeah, that's a little high. Do you think you can do it for this lower price instead, right? Now, I've already done a video called Upsells and Downsells that talks about this in more detail. After you guys are done watching this video, I highly recommend you go back and watch that one. I'll leave a link in the description below because I'm going to give you guys some more examples of different ways that you can kind of handle this. But the main way that I deal with this is by raising my price on the jump so that when they come back and they want to haggle with me, I have a little bit of wiggle room, right? So the first thing you want to do is decide how much money is enough money for you to even leave the house. So for me, for example, I've decided I don't want to leave for anything less than $350. So if I quote someone $350, they're either going to book me for that price or they're going to come back and say, that's too much. I can't afford that. What can you work with, right? Now, if the lowest thing I want to leave my house on is 350, I have no wiggle room at all. It's 350 is what I quoted you. 350 is the end of the conversation. So one of two things are going to happen. Either they're going to give in and they're going to book you at the 350. Maybe you're able to talk with them about it, convince them why the 350 is worth it, or they're going to say, ah, well, we can't really afford 350, so we're just going to go with someone else, right? So what can you do in this instance? you're gonna do something called highballing them, right? You're gonna highball the low ballers and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna add a little fee on top of that so that you have some wiggle room, right? So let's just say 350 is the lowest that you would leave the house for. Maybe you quote them at 500 for that service. So one of two things is gonna happen now. Either they're gonna to agree to the $500, which is awesome. You just made an extra $150, right? Or they're going to come back and they're going to say, yeah, you know what? We can't really afford the $500 price point. Is there any way that you can work with us on it? Now you're going to quote them the $300 package. But you don't want to just give them the $300 or $350 package, excuse me. You don't want to just give them the $350 and that's it though. Because then it's like, oh, all I had to do is just ask and I got a discount. What you're going to do is you're going to give them the $350 price option, but in exchange for something, right? So... Whether that be, um, you say, you know what, I'll do it for 350, but I'm gonna bring a camera crew in and we're gonna film everything so that I have footage that I can use for my, my YouTube channel or my website or whatever. Or you have them um, promise that they're gonna do X, Y, Z for you. They're gonna hand out flyers for you or whatever. Or maybe you just shave off some of the services, right? So maybe the thing that you're most known for in the community is that really cool trick that you do with the XYZ thing, whatever that thing is, right? You can tell them, you know, the XYZ thing is included in my $500 package, but if you don't mind not having it, I can cut that out and I can just show up with a deck of cards instead and it'll be $350. So if you're cool with me just doing card magic, yeah, I'll be more than happy to do it for $350. It's still award-winning card magic. It's still expert sleight of hand. It's still really good. It's just not gonna be the thing that most people book me for. If you're cool with that, I'll do it for 350. Now, usually when you do this, unless they really wanted that thing that you were offering, if they really wanted that thing that you were offering, they're gonna book you at the $500 price point. If they don't care and they just need a magician and 350 is fine because it's like a nice discount, well, at the end of the day, you're doing less work because you don't have to do all the bells and whistles. You just show up and do card tricks for the price that you were gonna leave your house for anyway, which is 350, right? So that's what I do. I raise my price a little bit so that I have some wiggle room. So if they want to haggle with me, I can haggle with them. Now, you never want to just, like I said, you never want to just come down to your base price for no reason. Because, yeah, like, why would you do that, right? That's like going to, to, you know, going to a restaurant and being like, well, can I get the steak? And they're like, yeah, the steak's going to be $50. And you'd be like, 
yeah, you know, $50 seems a little high. Can I pay you $35 for the steak instead? And then being like, oh yeah, that's fine. You can just pay us $35 for the steak. No restaurant would do that. Instead, they would say, you know, this steak is, is $50, but we do have this other cut of meat. It's a smaller portion and it doesn't come with all the sides, but that is $35, right? So they're going to sell you that smaller portion without all of the sides for 35 instead of the big juicy steak with all of the, the sides and everything for $50. So that's just something for you to keep in mind, right? Have different pricing options so that if they want this, you get that extra money. And if they don't want it or don't can't afford it, you sell them on this instead. It's a smaller version of the package, but they're able to be happy because now it's within their budget or whatever, right? So it's a win-win situation for you. At the end of the day, you're either leaving for the amount that you wanted to leave at for less work or what you were already going to do anyway, you're going to make some extra money on, right? I highly, highly encourage you guys to go watch that upsells and downsells video. I'll leave a link in the description below because it's going to go a lot further in depth with the things that I'm talking to you guys about right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more Advice for Magicians videos just like it, you should go binge watch the Advice for Magicians playlists. There's three of them. There's one for beginners, one for magicians general advice that all magicians can you know benefit from and advice for professionals videos like the ones that you just watched you're also more than welcome to click the subscribe button ring the bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload new videos because i'm constantly uploading new videos to this channel if you want to support the channel even further or if you want to learn magic tricks that i've created myself check out the tutorials playlist for the mob squad members to access these playlists you can click the join button for $1 a month, you get early access to all my videos. For $5 a month, you get access to the tutorials playlist as well. And for $100 a month, you'll get full access to all of this stuff plus one-on-one -on -one access with me where I can teach you magic. We can work on new tricks that you guys are developing. You can ask for advice or I can give you some more advice on how to become a professional. All of that stuff can be found in the membership tab on my channel. Anyway, my name is Michael O'Brien. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Take care.